Welcome back. This is chapter seven. This is the third part. And in this video, we're going to talk about indexes. So let me fast forward to that section. And here we go. All right. So what are indexes? They are a mechanism to help your database speed up when searching tables. Uh, and it's similar to an index in a book. We've got an example here where uh, what it is is we've made an index on the customer number. And so you can see where uh, customer number 126 can be found in row number one and 260 and two and so forth and so on. So it's similar to in an index where you look at the back of the book, you'd say, hey, I'm looking for this word and it tells you what pages it's on. And, and get that, that's the, the key there, pages, right? So what happens when you've got data with rows, uh, multiple rows? And that's really, uh, so a couple mechanisms. Indexes uh, help speed things up because uh, oftentimes indexes are put in a certain order to help when the search occurs, as well as it makes uh, repeated data searchable um, through one row of data. So for example, if we're doing an index and we've got this credit limit index, all the rows that have $7,500, which happens to be one, three, four, eight, 10, and 12, is now just one row of data with this kind of array of rows. So we find it once and now we have all the rows that have it. That's what helps speed up the indexes. So kind of a combination of, like I said, that ordering of the data as well as the ability to compact the database down a little bit and have one uh, value represented by multiple rows. There we go. So with that being said, uh, your SQL manages your indexes. So when you have indexes on databases, they can, um, and they will, I should say, uh, add a little overhead to your tables, uh, specifically when you're updating them or inserting data because then the index has to be updated. Um, and we've actually found that uh, sometimes you have to rebuild indexes if you're adding a lot of data, uh, changing data, you, you know, you wanna rebuild those indexes. Uh, user determines the columns on which to build indexes. So you're going to, as you create your index, say, hey, create this index and use these columns to build the indexes. Some of the disadvantages is it does uh, take up more data. So indexes are separate from the table. They are uh, created as uh, kind of like their own table on, on the side, but not really. Um, and so it does take up disk space. And database management systems must update indexes as data is entered. So depending on how big the data, what, what's in the index, how the indexes develop, uh, you could see some performance hits. Oftentimes indexes are um, meant to speed up searches. And so uh, the, the fact that it has to do a little more for updates and inserts is usually acceptable. Kind of keep that in mind. So how do we create an index? Very simple, like we create most things in SQL. Uh, we're gonna use the create index command. We're gonna name the index, identify the table, and identify the column or columns we want the index. So this example where we're saying create index, and uh, that's the name of the index, uh, bal IND, which is, uh, I believe, uh, balance index uh, is how they're trying to put that together on the customer balance so the customer table and the balance column. Now we wanted to create an index using multiple columns. This is the same way. We're gonna create an index, call it rep name on the rep table. And we're gonna index the last name and the first name. And then like, like everything else, uh, pretty much everything else, you know, we can drop indexes. So we're going to use the drop index to delete an index. We're gonna drop the index followed by the name of the index to drop. It permanently deletes the index. Again, oftentimes if you need to rebuild an index for some reason, you'll drop it and then you'll create it again. Uh, a lot of times we have uh, scripts to do that for us, but that's how you drop an index. One last thing to talk about when it comes to indexes, you can create unique indexes, and this ensures uniqueness of non-primary key data. You can create a unique index. So you're gonna use the create unique index command, and that's going to reject any updates that would use a duplicate value in the specified column. 
not going to talk too much about that. If you want to learn a little bit more about that, please feel free to uh, do a, a good Google search on that. It's pretty uh, self-explanatory, uh, pretty straightforward. So uh, that is it when it comes to indexes. Next up, we're going to talk about the system catalogs uh, that a database has. We'll see you soon.